what up YouTube Doom NYC here with a deck profile uh, this is uh, an updated uh, gravekeeper deck I know a lot of people stop playing gravekeepers they think it's dead this format uh, more than likely it is dead this format because of heavy storm but there's uh, some ways around it and uh, this is like the best build that I could come up with so um, here we go. I'm going to start it off with the monsters. Uh, of course, I'm, most of the monsters are going to stay the same. So, three descendant, obvious to blow up stuff. Then you got your three spies to search the deck when you flip. Three recruiter, best gravekeeper card there is. Three commandants, uh, search out your necro valley. One assailant. I only like one. Uh, it's it's good to switch, you know, opponent's monster to defense, but other than that, you know, whatever. And then one Gale. I still like this. The ability to go level 7s and then halving attacks is really good. So that's the monster counts for the spells. Triple duality is still really good in this deck. Uh, double Wonder Wand. A lot of people don't play this in the deck, but in order for Gravekeepers to actually be good this format, the deck has to evolve and if it doesn't evolve then there's no way that you know this deck could compete with with agents and tour guide and all that other stuff so a lot of people say it's situational where you can only use this with recruiter but i disagree i think if you plan on winning the game you know recruiters gotta hit the field at some point if he doesn't hit the field at all during the match you're gonna lose no matter what you gotta get recruiter so you always got to think that Recruiter is going to hit the field at some point and Wonder Wand is going to hit and you're going to get to draw to and search. So you got to play this. It's like the biggest plus ever for Gravekeepers. Two Necro Valley, not three. I find two to be more consistent, uh, especially you have the three Commandants. And Necro Valley is really good. It shuts down plants, uh, a lot, a lot of different things. Double Royal Tribute. Uh, this is the reason why I don't feel to play Mind Crush or Trap Dust Shoot in the deck because Royal Tribute pretty much does that work for you. And especially if you hit this first turn, this is like, that's like Trap Dust Shoot on crack. Um, two Gravekeeper Steel. It's obvious. I If I played more monsters, I would bump this to three because this card is so good. You always want to have this. So I thought about three, but with the monster count, it didn't really make sense. One Dark Hole. One and one Book of Moon is the last spell. I don't really play Book of Moon in my decks anymore, but in this deck it's necessary, especially with Spy's effect. Um, you have to play Book. So and now for the trap lineup, and this is one of the few decks that still plays a lot of traps. Two Bottomless, one Mirror Force, one Compulse. Really good. This format's chainable. Uh, double D Prison, uh, double Fiendish Chain. This makes up for the lack of effect Veiler in the deck. Uh, especially if your opponent goes JD, you can't affect Veiler JD, so, but you can Phoenix Chain him, so that's, you know, just as good. And he can't attack. See, at least with, a, you know, with Effect Veiler, you can negate the effect, but they can still attack. Well, this negates the effect and they can't attack, so it's a little bit better and especially good for this deck. Uh, two Warnings, Judgment, and Double Starlight Road. Some people say to only play one. But I feel a lot better when I have two of these in my deck. So at any given time, I can draw this and feel a little safe. Because, you know, Gravekeepers, they don't do a lot of synchroing. But now it exceeds, they're a little bit better. So uh, now for the extra, Cataster, Bryonic, Black Rose, Arcanite, and Ancient Fairy. Your level 7s are pretty much like the most important things. So... Double Stardust for the two Starlight Roads, one Trish, and one Decisive Armor. So those are your Synchros, one Chimera Attack. Now for the uh, Exceeds, we got Leviathan, Levier, uh, Roach, and two Utopias. So Exceeds in this deck can come out fairly easy. It all depends on what you want to do, but more than likely you won't exceed either. Because you'll be blowing stuff up with Descendant or trying to search with Recruiter. So you don't really know what's going to happen there. Now, for the extra. I got one Malefic Stardust Dragon. This is just to keep the Field Spell on the field in case you're playing somebody who uses Field Spells themselves. Uh, double Cyber Dragon. 
for Karakuri, stuff like that. One Thunder King. I wanted to main deck this card, but I felt I just couldn't fit it in the deck. Thunder King is really good in this deck. Uh, double space. Notice the deck doesn't play space or heavy. It's because Necro Valley, and I'm only playing two Necro Valleys, and I'm going to be setting a lot of back rows. So I figured, you know, let Descendant do most of the back row destruction, save the MSTs, you know, for siding in. Uh, one Smashing Ground for Agents. Heavy Storm, again, you know, not meaning that. Uh, meaning in the third. Necro Valley, it can really come up big. You know, if I'm playing plants, I'll definitely put this in. Uh, you know, it just has multiple uses. Uh, double chain, two light imprisonings, and two D fissure. And D fissure, this is another reason why I'm playing the third Necro Valley. Uh, because Dark Worlds are going to be so huge. And if any of you guys have like been paying attention to what Dark World can do, they're a really broken deck. They're going to probably get hammered by the next ban list, but that's okay. For now, for the next few months, Dark Worlds are going to be running the show. So you got to side for them. D-Fissure is the way to go. You D-Fissure or you run your own field spell because their field, field card is broken as well. So this is the way to go if you're going to start Dark World. So that's about it. So that's my Gravekeeper updated deck for the new ban list. Um, tell me what you guys think. Uh, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and until next time, YouTube, peace.